think you might be on, so go ahead. Okay, there's Andy telling us that we're already on and ready to go. So welcome to another version of the Daily Minute. See if I can get you updated in a few things. Had some interesting conversations today. Was on the phone with some of the economics and real estate people that uh, we work with. This was a group that was out of uh, Singapore. And uh, as you know, we're doing some things with our building site. So they had a good economic team. And there's a few things that came out of that might be interesting for you. Um, when they started talking about what are the most resilient sectors that they're actually seeing in the marketplace with the amount of work that they're doing. And uh, as you might imagine, one of the bigger sectors that they've uh, identified being what's happening in big tech. And so don't mind the chimes of Big Ben here, but um, it's I'm a minute behind apparently. Um, big tech is really doing quite well out there and, and, and we see the same things in our marketplace. So what's happening in the Google and Apple Cisco, HP, Facebook, etc. They're kind of getting through this period with a lot more resilience than our other sectors. And we've been talking about this for a while and there's a lot of major manufacturing opportunities with those companies. Um, they're putting major facilities in, doing a lot of high-tech manufacturing. So, you know, don't forget the fact that uh, you can work with our strategic analytics group and our custom research group to get a lot of information about what's happening in those particular markets. Wouldn't be normal markets for us, but it is a sector that's doing really well and will continue to grow, especially with the additional move now to be doing more of the supply chain movements back to the United States. So don't ignore that particular sector. The other thing that was kind of interesting is they were talking about what was going on um, kind of in the different sectors. So Singapore being in the Southeast Asia, you know, they were reflecting on what they're already seeing in the North Asian markets. So in Japan and China and Korea, and they're about four to six weeks ahead of them. They're starting to see in some cases, 80 to 90% of their manufacturing infrastructure moving back into place and they get more into quote unquote normal production. And they're envisioning for themselves being about four weeks behind that. And to some degree, you can actually look at us being four to six weeks behind that. So it's interesting from stage mapping and kind of seeing what there's, as this is moving across the country, also how the economic areas are moving back in. So that was pretty interesting as well to take a look at. Another point that came up was what's going on with the amount of construction and they're anticipating even more construction in the office area, which was interesting from the whole idea of densification and needing to move people out a little bit more. So not only the construction news are going to be ones that you're going to want to take a look at in the upcoming uh, months and probably years, but also then some of the things that are going to go into those buildings, you know, increased air filtration systems, non-contact access, you know, thermal screening. Um, a lot of those things are going to be sensor technology, automation technology, filtration technology going into the construction area. So. And last, uh, you know, this work from home stuff that I told you I can't stand, the fact of the matter is, um, you know, I was doing some stuff at lunch because you never seem to escape working. Now your computer is always in front of you and going through something on Fast Company. There's two interesting things they had for work from home you might find cool to take a look at. Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. It's a cool whiteboarding technique that lets you do some things with uh, task cards and you can do things with groups for establishing assignments and tasks, which is really cool. Then the other kind of neat thing, Brain FM, Brain.FM. They got a patented uh, neural phase system that lets you kind of get uh, a focus locking in, um, well, actually locking out distractions using special harmonics together um, with sound systems that you can actually uh, kind of tune out everything around you with cool music. So two cool things maybe you can use if we have to keep working from home for a little while, it might help. So I got to go. See you. Thanks a lot.